Hi, this is Chelsea at chelseaautumn.tumblr.com and my photography website is chelseaautumn.com. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I take this image in front of you and I create this image here. Usually I would do something called frequency editing, but because we're kind of doing a beginner level tutorial, I'm just going to show you a few easy steps to go from this to this. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. Then I'm going to remove blemishes, and because we're going to try to do this as quickly as possible, we're going to go a little fast. So we just go to any blemishes that may make the viewer look at the blemish instead of the beautiful girl in front of them. And we're going to use the patch tool, which is over here in your left. It's under here, under the healing brush. You could also use the healing brush, but I prefer the patch tool. And what it does is it matches the skin up where the blemish is to the unblemished skin next to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the softening tool to soften her skin. So I'm going to go over to the paintbrush and go down to mixer brush tool. This tool is a great way to soften the skin, but it can be overused, so be very careful when using it because you don't want your model to look like a cartoon or a drawn character. So I normally put my wetness down to maybe 3 or 4. I'll do 5 for now and I low, put my load down to 82, my mix is at 90, my flow is at 100. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this line right here, just because there's a shadow here and it's kind of making her look sad. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to lighten the picture just a bit. And then we're going to contrast it just a bit to bring out a lot of the highlights of it before and after. Now, what I want to do is bring this down a little bit so that I can edit and not blow out all of her features. I'm going to edit some in the curves layer. So I'm going to take the curves and I'm going to bring up the highlights just a little bit. There's a little bit more highlight and definition in her face. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some vibrance. And I'm going to go back to my curves. And I'm going to play around with the red curve, the green curve, and the blue curve. next thing we're going to do is do the selective color tool and I'm going to play around with some of the colors, mostly yellow. There's a lot of yellow. Now I'm liking what it looks like so far, but there are a few things in this photo that I feel like are detracting from the photo. Number one, her lips are a little too pale and there are a bunch of hairs that are on her hat that are just a little bit annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate a layer. And first things first, I'm going to go in and I'm going to color her lips. And I have kind of a peach color, and I'm going to go to my brush tool. I have it at 12% opacity, and I'm just going to color her lips in. Being very careful not to get it on her teeth or bleed outside of her lip line. It's kind of like putting makeup on. Alright, the next thing what we're that we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of um, dodging and burning. So we're going to go down to the dodge tool and I have it at 8% and I'm just going to dodge certain parts of her face. And use the burn and we're going to burn using probably around 6%. I'm going to use 10 because I'm doing it at the lower capacity level. And I'm going to burn parts of her cheek, her neck. Now what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go up here and I am going to take away the hairs that are right here. And then what we're going to do, now that we have kind of a nice vintage yellow tone, is we're going to add noise. And I think it's at about 60% noise. As you can see, there's lots of noise on there. And what I do is I just turn the opacity down a whole bunch. 
so it kind of makes it look uh, a little bit more realistic. There's a little bit more weight to the photo before and after. We added a lot more yellow tones, we upped the highlights, we changed the look color, we took up some blemishes, took away some stray hairs and softened the skin, and so that's what you get from going from there to there. Thanks guys!